Hi, Luis. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Hi teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How was your day? Very good. Oh, my day. My day was very, very easy. Very easy. Very nice. Yeah. Congratulations, teacher, in the uh, Teacher's Day. For Teacher's Day, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, today it was Teacher's Day and it was actually a good day. It was a very good day too. Now I'm opening here my computer. Uh -huh. But I don't know why, like Chrome is not working on my computer. Is Chrome working on your computers? Mm. Mm. I don't use my computer. Try again. Chrome. Uh -huh. Chrome. Mm. Chrome. 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 Like Google Chrome? No, right? In my, um, in my computer is not working. Well, we're gonna keep on working with uh, section five, crossing cultures. Today is Wednesday. We still have three days of classes, right? And I would like to know, please, if you finish the knowledge check 5.8. 5.8. Mm -hmm. um, I think, Yes. Um, yes. I, will, I only have a problem in the exam, final exam and uh, section B, but I have a 97% finish. Ah, okay, you already finished. Okay. Yeah. But we're going to work right now. Let me show you here. I would like you to tell me first, the knowledge check here, right? Can you see my computer? Yes? No. Yes, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Perfect. So we have this mm -hmm. one. It's com you completed this one, 5.5? .5? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. We worked mm -hmm. yesterday and today we're going to do here clauses with when and if for expectations, okay? So that's what we're going to work with today. I want you to please pay attention to this topic because it's actually about expectations. Expectations can be seen for anything, for example, a job interview, a future <clears throat> trip, a future job, etc. right? So I'm gonna work on this and tell me please if you have questions. Go over that, and we're gonna keep examples, of course, right? Let's go ahead and share these. Hi, everyone. Did you listen to that? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the US, when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the US? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to um, and so let's look at the examples at this time when you visit someone it's the custom to bring a small gift of course this depends on the situation you aren't supposed to arrive early and again this varies among different cultures um, if you want to bring someone you're expected to call first and ask you're supposed to check with the host 
it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. So let's try to understand this particular idea here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. All right. Um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out uh, the following. That um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an uh, when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone. That's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the the expectation is when you visit someone, and then you, then it's going to follow the verb to be. The verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form, or it could be negative. In this case, it happens to be that it's on its negative form. So when you visit someone, you aren't. Uh, then this is going to follow supposed to. You aren't supposed to, and then it's going to follow the verb. So in this case, the verb is arrive. Okay. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use an if clause. So I'm going to say if the service in a restaurant is good okay that's the if clause okay then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject okay you're um, supposed to okay and then that's going to follow the verb so you're supposed to leave a tip and then there's going to be some sort of compliment Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green just so you can see that this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the, it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out, right? Um, after that, follows the, it follows the, the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the, the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could, it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and color that in appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures, and in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave a t uh, to leave um, any tip whatsoever, right? Let me go ahead and uh, give another example here. Uh, what I'm going to say is, when you go out with friends to dinner, all right? Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I'm going to say it's, uh, and instead of supposed to, I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or it's not acceptable. I mentioned that this can be positive or negative. Yeah, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so, for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? Um, 
what are you supposed to do before you get married and then you want to uh, share what's the custom what are you supposed to do uh, what are you expected to do and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects okay so we just saw the use of uh, the when and if clauses to say expectations, right? That's the first thing that we need to remember. Now we're using here the phrases, you're supposed to, or you're expected to, right? Those are the phrases that we are going to use. So to do this or to complete this activity, right? What we're going to do here is to follow the structure. Hello, Gracina, Silvia, Veronica, Adrián, Adrián, Juan. Welcome Hello. to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Now, let me show you here my computer. Give me a moment. Oops. This is the structure that we are following, right? When or if clause plus the subject, verb be supposed to, expected to, right? Plus the verb plus complement, right? That's what we're, what we're using. So in order to follow this, I have my own examples as well. As well. Remember here, right? What we're doing is to try to follow each of the parts that we have in this structure, right? So here we have, right, the if clause or the when clause. But right? after this clause, something that he forgot there in the video is that we must have a comma, right? If we start with the if clause, we should have a comma, right? When you look for a job, for example, comma, you are supposed to be ready for questions, right? Because you're gonna go into an interview, right? So we got there. Right, you are supposed to be ready for questions, right? I have my example there. Or if we have the if clause, right? If we have an if clause, then we're gonna do the, the, the same thing, right? The if clause at the beginning, right? If your mom, oh, sorry, if your mom tells you to write early, right, that will be my if plus, right? You are supposed to follow instructions, right? According to your mom, you're supposed to follow and then instructions, right? So I have my verse there, right? Pretty much what I do is this, I follow this pattern, right? Verb B, then I have supposed to, the verb, be or follow, and then the complement, right? Now, if you, you can also say, you're supposed to follow instructions if your mom tells you to arrive early, right? You can do that as well. Now, are we following this structure? Yes? Yes, okay, perfect. What could be your expectations? Let's say um, your expectation is that you will get a promotion at your job. You will get a promotion. So what will be your uh, sentence? What happens when you get a promotion? When someone get a promotion, it's supposed to to do uh, um, to give uh, the best of them. Okay, the best of you. Okay, the when the best get, of you. Okay, when you get a promotion, you're supposed to give the best of you, right? Or if you get a promotion, you're supposed to get a high salary raise, <laughs> right? Ah. <laughs> also, <All right. laughs> also too, right? It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> a bonus, a bonus. Okay, perfect. So what else can we give? Let's try our examples for expectations.
Let's try our examples for expectations. Uh -huh. When you get something you want, it's supposed to say thank you. Exactly, you're supposed to say thank you, or you're expected to say thank you. Very good, Patricia. Right? That's common thank courtesy, you. right? Very well. Uh -huh. Gracina? Yes? Uh, when you get a promotion, uh, you are expected to receive more money. Okay, you're supposed to receive more money. Very good. Archimedes, what's yours? Okay, when you get a promotion, mm -hmm. you are supposed to uh, be ready to more, uh, more what? More, yeah, more, uh, how do you say? Trabajo, more work? More work. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, that's true too. Okay, Elizabeth, Sylvia? Um, when you get a promotion, you are supposed to be ready more obligations. Okay, you're supposed to be ready and get more obligations, right? Things that when you I, have to do. Uh -huh. When I am studying English, it's supposed to, I am learning to talk uh, with facility. Okay, I am supposed to, to <laughs> I am supposed to learn with, with, Oh, easily. I'm supposed to easily. learn easily. Yeah. Okay. Very good, Sylvia. Very good. Very good. Now, this is an easy topic, right? This is something that's very easy to, to handle, right? To work with. So I would like to know right now before we do the next activity, I would like to know if you have questions. Mm -hmm. No, no question. No questions. No, no question. Aha. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Now, this is what we're going to do. Okay. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. We are going, well, you are going to work in groups, not me. I'm just going to be watching and listening to you. Right. What we're going to do is the following. You are going. Okay. What you're going to do is the following. You're going to work in groups. I am going to make the groups, of course, right? I will give you one of the topics, one of the topics that we have seen in class, right? So we have seen topics, relative clauses, wishes, expectations, now phrases, gerunds, etc. right? So we have seen different topics. What you're going to do is as a group, you will have 10 minutes to be ready to prepare your examples, right? And explain that topic to the rest of the class. So let's say if I work with Patricia and Archimedes, we are going to work together, right? We're going, let's say we have the topic simple pass, right? Of course, we don't have simple pass here. Let's say we have simple pass. So Luis, Patricia, and I, we have to think about examples and a very easy way to explain the function of simple past. So it means why are you going to use it in real life, right? Examples, at least two examples, and explain it to the rest of the class, okay? Like a teacher, is that clear? But, but you have to think of your examples, yes. right? You have your examples there on your notebook. The only thing that you have to do now is to explain those examples to the rest of the class, right? So are you ready for the challenge? Yes, okay, this is like survivor today. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Now, we have there different topics, right? And we are going to start here with the first one, but I'm gonna make three groups, okay? First, this is going to be random, right? We have the first group is going to be, first group is Gracina, 
Juan Carlos and Veronica, group number one. Gracina, Juan Carlos and Veronica, your topic is going to be relative pronouns as subjects and objects. I'm going to put it in the chat. Gracina, Juan, and Veronica, relative, relative clauses as subjects and objects. Okay, Gracina. Sorry, Gracina. Okay, that's the first one. Don't worry. Adrián, Elizabeth, and Luis. Adrián, Elizabeth, and Luis. Right. Your topic is, well, your topic will be Clauses with it and when. Clauses with it and when. And the last group is Adriana, Patricia, and Sylvia. Right. Your topic, girls, is going to be. In a moment. <clears throat> One second. Gerald phrases as subjects and objects. As subjects and objects. Okay, that's going to be the topics for each group, right? Now, are we ready? You will have exactly 10 minutes to come back. Well, 10, 10 to 15 minutes and then we come back. For the presentation, you're gonna have three to five minutes only because we have three groups. So we have to take advantage of the time, right? Three to five minutes only, bring examples and your explanation is to be very clear. Why do you use it in real life? Because we're not like periquitos, right? You, you remember periquitos that they just repeat and repeat and they don't know why, but we have to learn why we use the English in that way, right? The reason why you use it, explanation, right, of the examples, right? And be ready in case I have, I have questions, right? So ready? Yes? Archimedes says no. <laughs> yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Let's go then. Let's go. These three days are going to be for you. Yeah, you will see. <laughs> Let's go. I forgot. Okay, I'm going to add Mayra to one of the groups, okay? Okay, Mayra, please. Okay. Let's go. Mayra, Gracina, please click on your group. Hello. No? No, no le aparece? No. Okay. I'm going to send you to another group and then you will go back to group number one, okay? Okay. okay. Now? Va para el tres. Sí, aparece el tres. Ahí me meto. Click there and then I will send you to group number one. Don't remember. It's, it's something like this. One moment, okay. Gracina. Okay. That that is uh, the topic is uh, the section two, and then. Mm, 
Jerón mm. frases. Phrases. Yes. Phrases. Jerón phrases. Body needs an important mm -hmm. responsibility. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yeah, we have to make sentences, teacher, or we have to, to talk with with that with that structure. No, you have to explain the structure. Okay. okay. Uh huh. I think that the we have to use the the first part uh -huh. is the gerund in, in the place to the verb is the action. Uh huh. The and verb. Uh -huh. The verb. verb. The verb. In that in that in that moment, take the place to the. Uh, it. I don't know how to you say. Convierte in, in gerund, in gerund. It becomes into gerund. It becomes into gerund, yeah. Okay. And organize yourself. Make a small agenda of what you're gonna say. Okay. Okay. Which or that? Uh -huh. Who is for people? Which is for think? And we can use that for people or things. And that's for people or things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the relative classes can come after the subject or the object or the sentence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As mm -hmm. subjects. Yes, for example, um, my sister studies a lot and she gets good grades at the university and you put my sister um, who study a lot and, great, and gets good grades at the university. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, only we, we, we what? Uh, to explain, uh, what is the, the reason of the use of the relative pronouns? Uh -huh. Yes. Relative. Uh, that's the first topic, right. week, week number one, section one. Aha, uh -huh. relative pronouns. Relative clauses. Relative clauses. Okay. Teacher, do you, do you want to you want to explain what mean and give example too, right? I'm sorry. You need to you need to we give a, a explain to the topic and give example, right? That's right. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, and <clears throat> you select uh, who who explain the, the topic teacher or we I think we, we I think we can explain a little everyone. You already okay. have the topic, uh-huh. And you decide what to do. You are oh, the okay. teachers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. See you in a moment. Uh, Juan Carlos. Um, okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. If if acabamos de ver. Okay. Sí, eso estoy notando. Okay. Si y si ustedes quieren, entonces nos distribuimos inicialmente, ya que Mayra acaba de entrar. Uh -huh. Y ella la dejamos ahí, como decimos en la banca, un rato, porque ella acaba de entrar. 
Mejor expliquémosle porque cuando le estamos explicando vamos a estar eh, practicando nuestra exposición para ver si ella va a entender justamente lo que nosotros vamos a decir. Me sí, parece. Exactamente. Me parece. Pero tenemos que explicar en inglés. Ok. Yo me hago los ejemplos y ustedes dos. Eh, Dice quién va a decir eh, la explicación y quién va a decir cómo, cómo, va la, cómo debe de ir la, la frase. Oh, oh, la estructura, dice usted. La estructura, correcto. Ok. Mm, ahorita voy a... But that is not your topic. When, Anif? No. Your, is our... your topic is clauses with... It and when. That's week number one. It. Clauses. I Your topic is clauses with it and when. It and when. Yes. Clauses ah. with it and when. That's section one, not section five. This is section five. Ah, you cheating us. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. It and was, okay. It and when. This It is your when. topic. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing your screen, Elizabeth. Okay. 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 Your topic. Your topic is on section one. Right? Section mm -hmm. one. And is this, this, 1.10, clauses with it and when. Okay. That's your topic. Okay, let, let me, let me see uh, the structure, please. It's subject, subject plus verb. That's on the platform. Yeah, I know. Uh-huh. When? Okay. Okay. I like it. I love it. I uh, etc. Uh -huh. I don't mind it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Thank we you. have like we have like thirty seconds. I think we're gonna go back to the main meeting, and then I'm gonna sh send you again to groups. Okay. Because. Okay. 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 Uh huh. Okay, let's go and see the the one point point ten in the platform. One point okay. ten, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I will send you again, Mayra. Okay, to the groups. Okay, um, the time is over, um, but the, the, the group number two was not ready. Are the other two groups ready? No? We guess we are ready. Yes? Okay, would, would you give me just five to 10 minutes more for the group number two because they are not ready? Okay? Okay. While the others, okay. please, please uh, continue working. See you in a moment. See you in 10 minutes, exactly. If it's possible, less than that.
Go to your team, Luis. Group number two, ready. Okay, you already have your examples and everything? Uh, we get. Yes, but I. I see, remember remember <laughs> the, the topic, please? Huh? Remember the topic, please? It is relative clauses. Relative clauses. Relative, relative pronouns. pronouns. Relative uh, clauses. Subject. Is relative clauses as subjects and objects? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. The very first topic. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, let me if listen. You, if you want, Just let me uh, go get some water. Okay, I don't have water. Okay. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos, if you want, I we practice. The explanation. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to give about a reality class in general. And you you can give an example mm -hmm. and about a subject and Veronica an example about object. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to practice to explain the, the relative. Okay. In general, uh, the relative class uh, is used and what we can use in sentences to give more, more information about something in the sentence. For example, I have an example here. I bought a new car. It's very fast. And with a complement will be, I bought a new car that is very fast. The relative clause, the relative clause is that in, the, in this example. And about the, the subject, you can explain about the case we can use who, which, or that in subject. In subject. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And give that, that, example, that hey. example. Okay. Decimos, I love it, I hate it, I um que I like it. Cuando queremos decir me encanta o me molesta o me gusta. Y después decimos when, que mm -hmm. es eh, Y ahí vamos a continuar con lo que nosotros vamos a decir acerca de lo que nos gusta, nos molesta o nos incomoda. Digamos, eh, lo que estamos hablando. I love it the when my family meeting. Ajá, cuando mi familia se reúne. Correcto. Entonces vamos a, a hablar algo. Ya yes, eh, ¿Cómo les digo? Entonces lo que va antes del it es, tiene que corresponder con el complemento, porque no vamos a decir yo odio cuando mi familia se reúne. Sería un poco ilógico, aunque sí pudiese pasar, pero es como que si esa parte se complementa con la otra para poder tener una lógica. Uh -huh. um, ajá. No sé si me doy a entender. Uh -huh. Sí. Oh, ya que está aquí la teacher, ¿me puede decir si estoy bien o estoy mal en lo que le digo? Yeah, you're right. Ok. Uh -huh. Now, where are the examples? You have four minutes to write examples. Ok. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, I love it, eat it when, uh, when pizza is... It's okay or no? no? No. I love it when eating pizza. O sea, mm -hmm. tiene que decir algo. I cuando, love it. Cuando I eat pizza. Cuando como when pizza. I eat pizza. pizza. When uh -huh. I eat pizza, I love it. I love it 
when eat pizza. Uh, me encanta con, cuando como pizza. When Ajá. I Pero eat después del... No, no es, 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 debe ser. When I love it, when I eat pizza, I love that. Or I love it. It is correct, I love it. That's the structure, Luis. Okay. okay. I love it when I eat pizza. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's one example. Another example? I don't mind when my neighbors uh, listen to music at night. At night. Okay. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't mind. Uh -huh. I don't mind. I don't Pero like tiene it. que decir el, el like it. O sea, tiene que I llevar don't el mind it. I don't mind it. Sorry. I don't mind it when... My neighbors listen to music at night. Okay. Okay. Another example could be, uh, if you want to, if you want to see the movie with me? Or no, let me see. No. No, let me see. Yeah. Eh, sería, I love it when I go to the cinema, for example. Uh -huh. yeah, but, but it's from it, 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 it. Yes, that's the structure. Okay. Vamos a ver. Um... Uh, I don't like it when it's hot day. When it is okay, very good. I don't like it when it when it is hot, okay. I don't like it when it's hot. Uh -huh. It's made me happy. Hmm. It makes uh huh. Uh, I don't like it when. I wake up late. I don't like it when I wake up late. Okay, very good. Okay. How, what other examples? Are you writing the examples? Is someone writing the examples? Yep. Yes, I have a question. Uh, yes. Uh, I I use the if and wet clothes when I talking about um situation dislike it or uh, like it or disgusted on every world situation. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Very good, Elizabeth. Okay, just that. Okay, perfect, perfect. Classmate. Um, ¿Se fueron todos? ¿Me escuchan? No. Okay. Yes. No había dicho quién va a decir, para que se usa quién va a decir los ejemplos y quién va a decir todo lo demás. <risa> la estructura. <risa> ya la sabemos entre todos, pero no hemos distribuido el trabajo. No, pero si quiere, eh, Adrián eh, dice cómo tú das la estructura y. Y Mayra y yo damos uno que otro ejemplo. Ok. That's good. Okay. Very good. Ok. Let's do it. Ok. Ok. We are we have group to... number two. Ok, so we're going to listen to your examples. Uh -huh. 
Okay, teacher, uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with group number one, yes. Gracina, that would be Gracina, Juan, and Veronica. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, uh, it's a reloading reload class. Okay, <laughs> let's wait for Gracina. Wait for your classmates. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sina, Juan, and Veronica, okay? Now we're gonna listen to them. If you have questions, okay. guys, make questions, okay? No, no, no questions. We are going to ask. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. about relative clouds. And we need to remember uh, that we can use relative clouds to, to make sentences or give more information about something. And an, an example could be, uh, I, I like the woman who lives next door. It's another simple sentence. And about the relative pronoun as a subject, and we need to remember that we can use who, which, or that. We use who for people and which for think. And we can use that for people or think uh, it depends on the, the context, yeah? And about object, we need to remember too that, that in this case, we can drop the relative pronoun if we, if, if we want to, yeah? The clause uh, can come after the subject or the object or the sentence. And one example could be, um, she loves the chocolate that I bought. Or, or uh, the university which she likes is expensive. Okay, Gracina. Excellent. Okay. Excellent, Juan Carlos. Very good. Okay, Gracina and Veronica, what do you have to say? Uh, me. Uh -huh. I will give two examples of object pronoun. Uh -huh. The cushion that are on the cushion are my mom. Uh -huh. And another, uh, I can decide which shoes to choose. I can decide which shoes to choose. Okay, that's good. That's good, Veronica, thank you. Gracina? Um, and the other examples of relative pronouns as subjects, uh, for example, uh, you, you have uh, two sentences, I like students, and students like to participate. Uh, the sentence you use, uh, uh, relative clauses is a like student who or that like to participate because you uh, substitute the pronouns when uh, um, uh, for uh, the relative clauses and there are two kinds of relative clauses. Uh, we use relative clauses to make clear which person or things we are talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, Mary Curie is the woman who discovered reading. Mm -hmm. Or for example, this is the house which, in this case, which is the relative clauses, Jack built. Okay. And then we can leave out the pronoun if it is the object of the relative clauses. And for example, this is the house that Jack built. In this example, that is the object of built. Very good. I actually was going to ask you that question. Very good. You just explained it at the end. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> job. Very good. Thank you, Gracina, Juan, and Veronica. Very good explanation. Very, very good. Thank you. So we have the first group. It's done. Very good. 
uh, group number two, Adrián, Elizabeth, Luis, and Mayra. Okay. Uh, the... <clears throat> okay, one minute, please. Okay. Uh, the use, the use, uh, the when, um, when, uh, when uh, we use the when to ask the question at the conclusion and to introduce relative clause, uh, when ask some question word, uh, we can use when to ask for information about what time something happens? When did you leave? When are you like holiday? When will you not rest the exam? Okay. That yeah. is that is perfect, Adrian. Sorry to interrupt you. That is perfect. But your topic is classes with it. And you're telling me perfect information about when to use the WH word when. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, and when? Uh, closing with it, uh, for example, subject plus verb plus it, uh, and the adverbial clause with when, uh, uh -huh. when plus subject plus verb. Yes, yes, yes the use correct uh, the clause of when. For example, no, the example uh, give uh, Mayra and me. Okay, continues. Okay, uh, Elizabeth. Okay, uh, when I can use uh, when and it close, um, we are explain this like or like uh, the things. Uh, the structure is a uh, subject plus verb plus it plus when plus subject plus verb. This is the structure. Uh, must correct me continue for the example. Okay, Mayra. Okay, some examples to be, <clears throat> I love it. When I go camping on my vacation. Another example, I don't mind it when my neighbors listen to music at night. I don't like it when somebody forget my name. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Mayra. Okay, another example are I like when I like it when people call me to my birthday. I like it when people talk to me face to face. And um, that's it. Excellent. Very good. When people call me on my birthday. Okay, on my, on my birthday. birthday. Okay, Excellent. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you, Elizabeth, Adrian, Mayra, and Luis. Very good. And we have the last group. Okay, chair. Uh, our topic is gerund phrases. Um, gerund phrases uh, used uh, like a subject and object. Mm -hmm. um, the structure is like a subject is gerund um, plus ing plus verb plus complement. Uh, Example of the this structure is uh, playing football is exciting. Um, another example is learning math gives me habit. And uh, when we use uh, uh, general phrases like uh, like object. Um, the structure is, uh, the first is the subject plus verb plus object plus complement. Example of this structure, I enjoy working for the people. 
or uh, you have finishes your working. Um, this is the topic. Very good, thank you, Patricia. Very well explained. Now, uh, Silvia and Adriana, do you have examples? Yes. yes. I example germ as a subject is walking is a good for is good for your health. And um, other example, uh, germ as object is I enjoy I enjoy walking for my health. Okay, perfect, Silvia. My first example, uh, the yerum as a subject is cooking is my way, my family. And hiking with friends is very exciting for me. Okay. And uh, yerum as a uh, object is I made, I made growing that plant. And I want dancing in a big concert. Okay, I want to dance in a big in a big concert. No, I want dancing. I want dancing. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. No. No, because I want to dance in a big concert. Yes, that is that is uh, infinitive. Not Jaren. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to give you another example. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yes. But that one is, <laughs> we need to change it. Very good. Excellent job. Thank you so much, Patricia, Sylvia, and Adriana. Very good. Thank you for your efforts. Right now, we have three topics. Very well explained. You have your examples. You know what you're working with right now. Up to this point, we have finished all the un all the sections, okay? We finished section one to five, and we have finished the exam, right? So we still have classes tomorrow and Friday. Those two days, what we're going to do is that we're going to practice speaking, okay? Speaking with videos and speaking with readings. So if you're more than welcome to come to the class, Right, just be ready to speak because uh, English is not only about grammar, right? It's also about sharing our ideas in a speaking manner, right? So if you feel like you need to practice tomorrow and, and Friday, welcome. The topics are going to be diverse, right? Topics that we have. Do you remember the, 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 the book that we read last time, the article, the big article? So I'm gonna bring one article for tomorrow and a video for Friday, okay? Or maybe the other way around. Okay. We have a lot of materials, so <laughs> uh, that's what we're going to do, okay? Because we finished the platform, so there's nothing else to work with in the platform, right? But we definitely can practice our speaking skills, okay? okay. Perfect. So guys, okay. it's been a pleasure, believe it or not, it's 9 p.m. already. Right, so I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m., okay? Good night, good night, guys. Bye-bye, have a beautiful rest of the night. Bye-bye, enjoy thank your you night. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time too. <laughs>